Hello everyone, my name is the Fox. This is the GP2 in 2 running the latest version of Dolphin, Dolphin 5 1694. Very quickly, let's go ahead and jump into the graphics config. As you can see, the only thing I have here is full screen and D3D11. Vulkan does not work even with the latest 15.60 drivers from Intel, which is uh, December 7th drivers. Even though it is working in many things, PPS, SPP, uh, Doom, and other stuff, even Wolfenstein 2, it's crashing in Dolphin. So something's up. I'm sure it'll be solved as time goes on. It doesn't really matter because in DirectX 11, everything runs fine as is. Here is the enhancement screen running at native resolution. You can see that I have hybrid Uber shaders on, scaled EFB copy, force 24 bit. That doesn't really matter, but I just have it on. Everything on hacks is enabled and all of this is disabled. Uh, you can see that I'm kind of moving around by using my the touch panel of the GP2 win itself, as opposed to using the mouse and flipping the switch. And the reason for that is the Dolphin really wants 360 controllers to be connected before Dolphin is even executed. Um, so basically, I, I've just been, well, wrong button. Basically, I've just been uh, using the touchscreen so that I can keep myself in X input mode. Uh, because I know it's already connected and initialized within Dolphin, and I don't have to do anything else to do it. Because if I go into mouse mode, it's going to deinitialize the X input, which is why I'm doing that. Um, right here, it's important to take a look at the temperature. We're really not going to climb very high. We will see a few stutters happen whenever it's building certain other shaders, um, or just other stuff that's going on, like that. Um, but they're few and far between, far less so than... Uh, what is normal without using uh, hybrid shaders. And also you can see along the edges here, we have some weird, like this will like kind of disappear. These like weird culling issues. It's because I'm using a cheat code, a gecko cheat code to uh, enable widescreen mode. Uh, and it's a little bit better than using the widescreen hack because it doesn't happen as bad. Um, because a lot of this would just get chopped off as soon as you hit this part. So it's, it's a, a little bit of a better widescreen mode. But you can see it's not calling here when it would have been before with the widescreen hack. Um, it's just a thing that, uh, it's just to be mindful. So if it looks a little glitchy, it's just because we're kind of forcing widescreen instead of it actually supporting widescreen from the get-go. Also going into the morph ball, you can see that it's uh, way less laggy than it used to be with regards to like how bad the stutters used to be whenever uh, going into morph ball mode. And most importantly, you can see right here that we're really not stressing this system all that much. It's actually managing to, even though, um, so right now I have momentarily set this system to 8 watts, but it's a very, very short time that it'll stay at 8 watts. It'll default back to 7 watts very, very rapidly. So I've only enabled XTU mode uh, just so that I can start the beginning process of doing the overclocking and stuff. But most importantly, you can see the Dolphin doesn't really stress... 7Y30 all that much that we're not even really pegging the system at 7 watt all the time uh, Which is allowing our system to say really really cool the highest I've ever seen this go is 65 degrees Celsius when playing uh, Metroid so um, That's you know pretty cool It's actually quite nice Knowing that when we're running emulators and stuff we're actually going to be running a bit cooler and as a result the bottom the base of the wind 2 is cooler as a result <clears throat> but yeah, for the most part, um, 60 FPS is uh, almost guaranteed, except for those small times that there are, there's some background stuff that's being generated.
Also, using the map is uh, pretty apparent that a lot of things have been solved. But that's just because of how streamlined the dolphin emulator is right now. My daughter. Kids are having fun. Where we are. All right. So I mean, it's pretty apparent that the game just runs pretty much flawlessly. There are those brief moments of stuttering, but they're few and far between. Um, I don't know if it's just that I'm using the latest uh, development branch of Dolphin or what, because we're not really stressing the system all that much. If you a different story if we were constantly locked at seven watts, and those stuttering issues would be. Um, a little bit more concerning, but because we are considerably under seven watt a lot of the time, um, I don't really, I don't really feel like it's. I think it might be part of that sh shader generation that's happening that hybrid Uber shaders aren't accommodating for. So um, yeah, it's just the thing. It's still totally playable. Those few uh, bursts of of stuttering are something that would probably happen on a lot of systems regardless of power, because this is more than capable of playing it. Uh, and as you can see, we're at the we're pretty much at 2.6 gigahertz, which is the max CPU frequency by default without having to overclock or anything, and that's more than enough for what we need. Um, having said that, we can always bump it up and potentially solve it, but uh, I don't know. We're not always at 2.6 gigahertz. Um, but yeah, it's still super playable. I'll be doing other Dolphin stuff. Thanks so much for watching.